Hello, I'm Madison Graham. And I'm Alex Fuse. And today we are actually conducting Student Spotlight with Mr. Dylan Thomas. How are you? I'm, you know, I'm always great here, especially on my own segment being interviewed by actually the first two people I've interviewed. So it's like a circle of life here, a little bit, if you will. It comes full circle. <laughs> it, it's like this, it's like the Lion King. Right, guys? <laughs> no? Lion King music in the background? Yeah. Good movie. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a pretty good movie. Was it, so we're going to ask you a few questions. You know how this segment works. Actually, I don't know if I do. <laughs> no, jokes aside. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, your major, mm -hmm. your position here. Yeah, so I operate the teleprompter here. Um, I've also worked a couple positions um, rarely. I normally can fill in for other people if needed, as well as um, I host this segment, the Student Spotlight. And here we are. And here, here we are. Now, we're hosting and you're the guest. I know. It's such a weird feeling, but, you know, I'm happy to be here. So, Dylan, I'm going off the script, as I usually do, mm -hmm. as a teleprompter. Um, so, as you interview so many people, right? You're yeah. going to interview the students here at Dean, whether, you know, most, we've, you've only done really members that have joined the club. Yeah. But if you have the opportunity to interview any student. Any student. Here at Dean. Here at Dean. Who would you interview? Any student here I'd interview at Dean. Well, hmm. That's kind of hard because there's so many great students here at Dean, and it's really hard. As a professor, I'd have to go with Vic Michaels, but for a student, um, I'd have to go with my, my buddy Toby because um, I know he talks a lot about Dean and talks about a lot of positive things. He's a great viewer of the show, too, so I'd love to have him on and hear his thoughts. I bet his favorite segment is the opening. And yeah, right. Keep drinking. Um, <laughs> um, but no, I think mm -hmm. it's great and that people really like DNN, which is awesome. I, that's the best part. That's why we do it. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get back to the script. Um, so why did you join Dean News Network and what's your favorite part? Well, at first I was approached by Luke, um, Luke Scratch Smith, if you will. And he, he came up to me. He's like, during my radio shift, he's like, Dylan. And I was using my phone at times. So like, oh. And, and uh, he was like, do you want to join DNN? And I'm like... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. He's like, come to the meeting, we'll interview you. And I just really like the principle because um, I actually even toured the CNN studios once. And I'm like, I think I can do better. You heard that, CNN. <laughs> so here I am trying to slowly grow my brand and, you know, help show off how great Dean College truly is. So that's why I'm here. Awesome. Well, you're doing a great job. I appreciate that. He's doing the best. Oh. Whoa. Well, that's I mean, he's student words. spotlight, so he has to be doing Spotlight right. is on the spotlight. students. You're, you are in the spotlight here at Dean News. We're all in the spotlight here. Right now, sure. <laughs> what was it? Going back to the uh, mm -hmm. interview, the reason that we're here. So tell us a little bit about DECA. We heard that yeah. you were involved in high school. So DECA was one of the clubs I was a part of in high school. So what DECA is, is it's kind of a like competitive business. So you take a written test, and then there's some role plays, right? And these role plays are pretty much like the fake business scenario, and you try to pitch your idea. So me and my best friend Connor Brennan, we competed our first year as juniors, and we got bounced in um, regionals. However, our second year we crushed regionals, then we came to states, and funny story here if we have a minute. So we didn't know we won at first. What happened was our school had to leave early from the three-day competition, which is actually happening this weekend as we were shooting this. Huh. Anyways, so we had to leave early. So we had no idea that we won, and nobody told us like a month later. So we're like, what? We got like third place, and that, what that meant is we could go compete in internationals, which was in Atlanta, Georgia. And that was a great time. It was like a whole week, and we went all over the place to the aquarium. Pretty much any attraction there, like we checked it out because we had a whole week. So it was just an awesome experience. Wow. So we're talking about your time in high school. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't just graduate as no one. What did you graduate with? I was the salutatorian of my class, and that's one of my favorite stories, honestly. And, and graduation was honestly the best day of my life. And I never knew if I'd ever know what that day is, but it's just a feeling you get. So what happened was, I was class rank 3 pretty much all my time throughout high school, and salutatorian is the class rank 2. And it wasn't until three days before graduation where the principal pulled me aside and he's like, Dylan, do you want to be the salutatorian? And I go, um, excuse me, Mr. Principal, I believe you have that wrong because I'm class rank 3. And he's like, there's been a change. And it was just such a flattering and over, you know, moment because I finally got my, that was my dream coming in freshman year. I want to speak at graduation, and now I had it. And it was just such a joyous time. I called up my mom. And she was like, woohoo, she was so happy. She was in the car screaming, and that brought a smile to my face. And the speech was due the next day. I was told. So I'd write like a seven page speech in one day, and I stayed up late, and it was great. And the last day, so that was Wednesday, and then Friday I practiced it. And I was trying to practice it because, you know, so late, I 
kind of procrastinated, not by choice. So, and then mom's like, you gotta mow the lawn. So here I am mowing the lawn with the speech in my hand and I'm you know, running around with my best trying to really practice my speech. Anyway, so it went great, so happy. You can look it up on YouTube if you want. Um, just my name is Salutatory in Speech. It was the best day of my life. That's awesome. Well, since we're on the topic of high school, we heard that you had a weird substitute teacher once. Please mm -hmm. share with the viewers. Yeah, so I had former WWE wrestler Kenny Dykstra as my substitute teacher in health class. And it was interesting because I don't know why we had a former WWE wrestler. He was actually from the same town mm -hmm. that That's I crazy. was in. It is. And um, instead of teaching us health, he taught us how to invest in housing and like rebuild houses, redo houses and sell them off instead of health class. And that's not what we're supposed to do. So it's very interesting, but not as interesting as what you're about to hear. Yeah, uh, you were telling me, well, you brought it up behind the scenes. You got mm -hmm. bit by a mole? Yes. At not just anywhere, in a bank. Yes. Wait, this is true? True story. <laughs> I thought they were just pulling a prank on <laughs> No, this no, is a true story. No, these, these are hashtag facts. Real news, unlike some other news outlets. So what happened was, um, my, my mom's boyfriend and I were driving into the bank through the drive-thru, and he was, dri he was driving, so I'm like, I wanted to see if I got paid for work. So, you know, I walked out, and I put it in my card, and when I'm putting it in my card, I feel a little nibble on my ankle. And I look <laughs> down, and it's this mole <laughs> biting my ankle. So I kick it off, and I'm like, whoa, because what happened was the Chinese place next to it was getting redone, so I guess that's where the mole <laughs> came from. I won't name it, because I'm a nice guy. But don't go there. Anyways, so <laughs> um, what, what happened was I kind of calmly walked in the car and I'm like to my mom's boyfriend, I'm like, I think I got bit by a rat. I thought it was a rat at the time. And he was like, why are you so calm? You just got bit by a rat. And I showed him and it was like a bite mark. So we had to go rush to the ER. But first he had a shower. I don't know why he decided <laughs> to shower before going to the ER. Yes, yeah, so it's a crazy day. So anyways, I got there. I got like eight shots in one day. I had to come back each week to get another shot because they thought I had rabies. And yes. I got bit by a mole at my bank. Oh, I now have a different bank. As you should, but why mm -hmm. Why did he go shower first? That's what I'm stuck up on. You uh, like got bit by a rat. Mm -hmm. For all he know, you definitely had rabies. And he's like, but first, let me just like wash my hair. Hey, gotta look nice for that <laughs> ER. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thought to go through his head. I don't know. He's a great guy though, so. <laughs> was it? Well, I have no words. That <laughs> I have no words. I think that's the top. We cannot top that off. Crazy story. And with that, that's the end of Student Spotlight that we ever do because no other interview can top off that story. <laughs> Thank you so much. Was it? But is there anything mm. else you want to share with our viewers? Since you are on this yeah. side, you can um, actually mm -hmm. answer some questions. Yeah, for me, I just want to say thank you to all the viewers and thank you for these two. They actually interview, like, volunteered to interview me, which was such a, you know, it was a humble to me because these two are like such great friends of mine. And it was just so nice that I had so many people that wanted to interview me. It just felt great and I felt so much appreciated. Oh. Well, no, what's it? You're the best. best. Yeah, we're very no, honored. No, you guys to, are the best. We're Stop very it. honored to be on this side, <laughs> being able to, mm -hmm. you know, turn the tables on you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... We're going to get like a rat in here. But... Come on. Oh, boy. Don't go to New York City. Anyways, well, thanks for watching this segment. This has been fun. Yeah, thanks for joining us. This is Stu Thank you Spotlight. for having me. Yeah. Have a nice night, guys.